I got broads in Atlanta, just to the in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the family. Hey, what's up? Sex Savvy here. Got a little, a little tutorial. Um, they didn't say anything about it. Kind of found out myself. But if you are an Xbox, obviously Xbox, I don't play PlayStation. And this is what we're on. Well, excuse me, I don't have a PlayStation. But for Xbox Insiders, Twitch, now is a beta app. Also, you can use a webcam with your directly from the console now and all that good shiz so just if you're not a um which i will have a picture in picture i'll throw it up i streamed a little bit ago just to try it because it didn't really say at all anything about the webcam except you know there was no position or whatever so, and then uh my LED lit up and uh, we were good to go. So I'll probably have that on the video, but you want the Xbox Insider Hub. If you don't already have it, grab it from the uh, store. I've been a part of it for a while, so um, you may not have you know the um, ability to download it correctly or uh, correctly <laughs> automatically, except yeah, one year, seven months, seven months. But basically, right, um, well, it'll be <clears throat> on your insider content. And also, Warface 2. It's a game, Twitch Beta. So you download that, you click it, and you download it. I'm going to my dashboard, and it's this one. And actually, did. It's pretty sweet. You're not going to be able to go. Yeah, my webcam, it won't come on. But the whole interface, anything that you see, the show, anything you select the stream, it will be playing in the background while you're like browsing. So right here, we got my boy six, the 6210, so that's him live right there. I go to my buddy, uh, Gel Troid, sorry, I can't pronounce it. Boom, you see his stuff. And if you go down and say just the games, it'll just show you whoever, I don't know, how it goes, follow the channels, popular, all that good shizzle, browse, broadcast. Um, yeah, you you can go to your own channel, see all that. It's already just you know it's laid out nice. Tells you who you're hosting, browse, etc. Broadcast, and this is oh, and I'm because I'm streaming from my Xbox, but again I'll have a video of the actual stream to prove it. But camera position, you'll see, you can't really see it, but let me see, oh, there we go. Initially it said none, and it was kind of grayed out, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to plug my camera and plugged it in, and I just, it still kind of seemed, seemed grayed out, but I just selected top left. It did not show the camera, but I was watching my stream as I did it, and sure enough, the camera was there. and. Also, if you play PUBG, I know it's everyone, <laughs> to the console at least, that damn bar at the bottom that blocks essentially everything, your health, your boost, your fire mode, you know, all that. Well, the good thing is it's gone. I mean, it's basically like a mixer. It's smaller, so it'll be below your camera. Um, so top left, mine was basically, I mean, you'll see it in the video. Just like a few minute clip I'll throw in. Then you can do, you know, you get your game audio, your microphone audio, which again, I'm going through my console right now. So that's why I can choose that stuff. Game audio, you can automatically detect your bit rate, which uh, would not, it automatically put mine, it was like 4,000, which is too high. Stream res resolution, go 1080p, 720, and then go SD, 480, 360. Your language, title, and once you start streaming, it will actually give you your channel URL in case like you don't know it, whatever. Of course, you can use the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the app on iOS or Android. Just like it says, control your fingertips. You can control your chat. So, um, and also, 
that once you do start streaming, the control of your fingertips portion will go away. You will see a little uh, preview there, but it will not actually start streaming. It'll still show the animation cartoon thingy, like the two guys ashing on the couch, and there's another, I don't know, whatever the hell it's called, until you're actually in a game. But I thought this was pretty sweet because Twitch, I believe uh, I read it was like four years since they updated it. And the last update was the ability to stream games. So huh, that's kind of sad on their part. But I thought it was sweet about the camera and also about that damn bar at the bottom because I'm sure there's a lot more games than just PUBG that, that, were, that, um, you know, that, that was a problem with. So that's good and just wanted to share like always so everyone take care and have a great one peace